How are you doing guys, Zedai here. So I unfortunately got some very bad news. This is relating to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. And there's been a report that unfortunately this new expansion for Elden Ring will not contain any new trophies. Wow, really is unfortunate. Now from software are not exactly known of having extra DLC trophies for their games. The only time that they did have it was for the Bloodborne The Old Hunters DLC. Nevertheless, that also was the reasoning why it even received extra trophies. It was because of the association with the PlayStation. And as you guys may not or may know, that PlayStation pretty much has a mandatory uh, necessity of having extra trophies. Now, sure, the developers can choose for themselves if they want to or they don't, but it is mandatory to have at least some sort of trophies. Now, to an extent, I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly how it works, but that's what I heard anyway. This information is coming from PlayStation Game Size on Twitter or X, and they mentioned this tweet of the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Download size is going to be 16.502 gigabytes. You can pre download this on June 19th, and the launch of this expansion will be on June 21st. Now, there's been a question that Damien asks, do we know if there will be new trophies? And the reply comes in, looks like no trophies. I'm not sure. Now, there is still is a possibility, perhaps maybe he could be wrong and relating to the trophies, but anything he mentions, and especially with early releases of the games, well, unfortunately, I kind of catered that it is indeed the truth. And like I mentioned already, From Software are known for not having extra DLC trophies. This has happened with Dark Souls 3. It had contained two DLCs, and yet there were no extra trophies within there. And unfortunately, uh, the only time we had the DLC trophies, like I mentioned, was from Bloodborne The Old Hunters. But still, I really was looking forward to play this game, get all the trophies 100%ing it once again for its DLC of Elden Ring. And now, like I'm even saying in the, in the title of this video, I'm thinking I'm not getting this DLC now. Because even though I know for a fact that this DLC will be phenomenal, just like it was the main game, but because it has no trophies, it's just there's no incentive of me getting this game and playing it through. Like, I want that hook right that's what i want now trophies is that hook for me now a lot of people may not understand my line of process thinking right why do i care about these trophies because some people will understand that but majority i believe not so much they want and yeah sure a lot of people say why does that even matter whatever it's just me this is just my case like i'm saying that i will not be picking up the dlc most likely now due to this even if I do, I'll play it, I'll finish it, and that's it, I'll be done and get, get the video out, say about my thoughts and my review regarding of the Shadow, Shadow of the Earth Tree for Elden Ring. But again, it's just like there's no motivation for me any longer. Yet, trophies were that main hook that I've really appreciated it and I've really liked to go through and getting that platinum. It's also a nice way, of, a nice sense of kind of accomplishment and a victory within well for me right yet also it's a nice way to kind of have a little bit of a show off if that makes sense right if people look up on your trophy list and you see oh my goodness he's done this he's done that he's done some incredible and grindy games he's done some incredible and extremely difficult games and now Elden Ring that's one of the most popular games he's got the platinum on that and then there's also DLC is also very challenging because we do know the information regarding the DLC that it will be very tough and, and the boss that you'll be facing there but nevertheless it's just like okay there's no trophies for it would he even like do we know that he played the dlc no unfortunately no not any longer right uh, it's just sucks man and now i'm just like i don't think i want to pick up this dlc and i actually pre-ordered it i pre-ordered it through the playstation store and now uh, i'm going to be canceling it i think i will be most likely canceling it now i do want to hear a little bit more concrete like if there's genuinely not going to have any extra trophies if there really isn't it's like 70 to 80 percent yeah i'm gonna cancel my order and if there is oh 100 i'm getting it oh okay well i just had to sprinkle in here as well uh basically playstation game size has specifically mentioned that there will be no trophies it's not like as if it was a question but now it's a confirmation that indeed they will have no trophies so yeah most likely i will not be picking up this dlc at this point kind of is 
you know, a very bad way of looking things and like literally depriving of myself of enjoying an incredible experience all because there's just going to be no trophies attached to it. I understand, but that's, again, that's just my line of thinking, if that makes sense. And I understand why people may not ex necessarily agree with me, but I just wanted to have that sense of achievement and something to have a little bit of a show off, if that makes sense. And I'm sure a lot of people and haters will say out there, who are you going to show this off to? And like I mentioned, my own sense of achievement. Uh, anyway, guys, I don't want to make up more uh, excuses and shit. And I just want to be done with this conversation and move on. Because, unfortunately, From Software once again has not included extra DLC trophies. Just like they didn't with Dark Souls uh, 3, uh, both of those DLCs. Thankfully, they did for Bloodborne, well, because of the association with PlayStation. Now, talk about Bloodborne. Remastered? Bloodborne? Remake? Where the hell is it? <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.